What up YouTube, it's All Day Anthony, and I have an extremely dirty Evo sitting in my front yard right now. We had a pretty bad rainstorm the other night, and I'm pretty sure it was just dirt that came down on my car, and this has got to be the dirtiest my car has been in a long time. So, to help with that, I actually got something in the mail today that I want to go over and kind of review on, and basically just kind of tell you guys how great of a deal it is for what you're getting. So, without further ado, let's jump to this brown box over here and open it up. All right, so some of you guys don't know this, but I would consider myself like a hobbyist detailer. It's one of those things I like doing in my spare time. I like cleaning cars. I like polishing the car. I like cleaning my bikes. I like doing stuff like that. It, it kind of helps with my OCD and I just enjoy it. It's calming. But with that said, I, you know, I do the full nine yards when I detail. I mean, I always do a two, bush, two, uh, two bucket wash method. Um, I polish, I clay, I seal, I, um, I do all that stuff. So. Um, I do it on my bikes and I do it on my car and that's kind of how I keep things so clean and in such good condition. But with that said, I'm always on the lookout for like new products, whether it's new and innovative or if I can just find a product or like a package of products that's just for a screaming good deal, which is basically what I did. So um, let's go ahead and tear this box open and see what I got. All right, so I actually got this box. <laughs> Of all places, detailing products. I actually got this from Costco.com. And people are like, what, Costco? Costco sells detailing stuff? And yeah, I was just as surprised as you were. Um, basically, when one of my friends sent me the link and shared it with me, it just blew my mind. I looked at the products, I was just dumbfounded at the price. I was like, is that right? Is it not right? I was about to actually post it on Slick Deals because I thought it was just way too good of a deal. All right, so this first product is gonna give away the brand of products I'm gonna be showing you guys. So uh, Chemical Guys, I'm sure if you've ever watched a detailing video on YouTube, you've heard of Chemical Guys. And um, I am in no way partial to Chemical Guys. I don't think that they have the best products. I don't think they have the worst products, but I think they are on a, a solid level of just offering decent products at a okay price. I think they do like try to like upsell you in their videos and really try to talk the talk, which I think is great. You know, it's good entrepreneurship, but I always just try to find out what's what's good products, what's the best. I just don't buy the whole like sell gimmick thing. So let me just start by saying that. I mean, if you were to ask me what my personal favorite uh, detailing products would be, I would say that Optimum products are probably my favorite. And I'll get into that stuff in a later video down the road, but let's just check out what I got right now. So Chemical Guys, uh, Microfiber, um, chamois, chamois Cloth. So we got our wash mitt and then we have a giant 4.5 gallon Chemical Guys bucket. And there is a ton of stuff in this, a ton of stuff. So um, we're gonna open that here in a minute. What else we got? Just receipt, paperwork, okay. All right, so checking out the bucket, 4.5 gallon bucket. Looks really cool, looks nice. Has a little Chemical Guys logo on it. Nothing, nothing special. But uh, let's start checking out the product. So, looks like we have a foam applicator. I'm guessing this is probably for tire dressing or just applying dressing to um, black vinyl trim. We have a box, which I'll open in a second. We have three, what is it, three microfibers? Yeah, three blue microfibers. These are just look like a pretty run of the mill microfibers, nothing crazy special. But um, we got those. We have. Looks like a waffle weave of some sort. Some type of waffle weave uh, drying towel. It's pretty small, probably not the, the best drying towel, but still pretty nice. So we got that. Next we have, looks like um, tire brush, tire brush, cleaning brush, wheel brush. And then we have the products that I was really excited about. So these are full size products, by the way, full size. So this is 16 ounce. So this is Chemical Guys Butter Wet Wax. Um, this thing retails, I think, for 19, 20 bucks on Amazon with Amazon Prime. Um, check out the reviews on this; amazing stuff. We got um, the uh, Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash, uh, also by Chemical Guys, and uh, this is going to be, I guess, partially what's going to be in association with that box right there. And then we have uh, the Silk Shine dressing, which is going to be used for tire stuff. Uh, we have our window cleaner, which is, I think they're just their Chemical Guys glass cleaner, their signature series stuff. And then we have the Diablo wheel cleaner that I believe is a dilutable gel, if I remember right. So we got that. And above all, we have a 
grit guard that came in the bucket too. So pretty good little package. And then this is what I was really excited about. And I don't know if this is going to be a piece of shit or if it's actually nice, but we have the Chemical Guys foam. I think it's the foam blaster. It's not the cannon, but it's the blaster. And this is going to be um, one that you can actually hook up to your hose directly. And that's going to be used with this Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. So we have that with some different attachments and sprayer clips and all that. So what's so cool about all this and the reason why I chose to pick up this package and why I think it's probably the best package deal that you can get is um, believe it or not, I got all of this for $69.99 with free shipping from Costco.com. So um, I know a lot of people are like, Costco, I don't have a Costco membership. Well, if you don't have a Costco membership, chances are you have a family member that does, a mom or dad or whatever, borrow their card and you can place this order for it. And if you add up all these products separately, I, the price is ridiculous. It's like around like 180 bucks, 180 bucks, 190 bucks, probably after shipping. So being able to get this for 69 bucks with free shipping is pretty amazing. And um, yeah, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it and start, uh, I guess, testing some of this out on my uh, really dirty car there. Yeah, that smells amazing. That smells really, really good. Uh, what's kind of cool about this, um, this foam blaster is that you don't have to actually use their soap. You don't have to use snow foam auto wash. You can use any soap inside this with water and it'll still do a foaming effect. So um, that's what's kind of cool about this little gun. So even though I'm gonna be foaming the car with the foam gun, I'm also gonna be using the two bucket wash method just to play it safe. So I have my grit guard bucket here with plain water and I'm going to use a little bit of soap here in the soap bucket. I'm like weird about smells, dude. I love things that smell good, especially when it's detailing products. All right, water's on. All right, moment of truth. Oh, this new crazy mother. Looks like we're already out of soap. So, um, damn. All right, adding more soap. All right. So, I guess the Diablo wheel cleaner is already a pre-mixed, um, a pre-mixed bottle. I, I think normally it comes in like a gel that you mix on your own. Uh, you can get a little bit more uses out of it. So. This is a premix bottle, not a big deal. Still awesome for the price. So um, my wheels are pretty dirty, man. I mean, uh, really, really dirty. Lots of brake dust, um, grime and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and spray it on the wheel and see how it does. It smells like bubble gum. It's, it smells like bubble gum. So not bad overall. I mean, like a seven out of 10 job. I mean, for me, barely scrubbing anything. Um, some spots down here I miss up here, but overall, I mean, it got the wheels clean. I mean, but no different than I guess soap if I were to just take my time and uh, hit every spoke, but not bad. So I usually start with the top of the car, then work my way to the sides of the car, um, hit the doors, hit the trunk, hit the hood, uh, hit the front bumper, and then I'll usually end on the lower ports of the car, like basically like the side skirts and usually the rear diffuser in the back. And then I'll usually follow up with the uh, window and wheel cleaning after that. Now you're in my video. Now you're in my video. I saw it. I saw it. Don't get a hose that kinks because this is the most annoying thing in the world. All right, so this waffle leaf towel that came with the kit is pretty small, and I really doubt that I'm able to dry my entire car with this towel. So, what I'm just going to use instead is um, these big drive me river towels from the rag company basically it's giant waffle weaves 
All right, so the car is dry, and since we're losing sunlight, I'm actually going to pull the car into the garage, and we are going to uh, spot test some of the other products that came in the package. All right, so since my last garage video, I've actually added some more lights, so it should be pretty bright. Um, what I want to do is basically just test out these last few products and see what I think. Um, we got the glass cleaner, we got the butter wax, and we got the dressing. So um, I'll just apply each individual one and see how it does. All right, so the first thing I'm going to test is the glass cleaner. Um, I usually have a hard time finding a good glass cleaner I like, and we have some pretty hard water up here in Idaho, so I have lots of water spots over the windows. I know you guys can't see on the GoPro, so just take my word for it. Um, so I'm not expecting to get rid of the water spots, but I mean, if it puts a nice little shine on the windows and kind of gets rid of the dullness, I'll be excited. So um, we got the window cleaner, and I'm using their waffle weave towel that came in the box. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, I'm not really sure. I wouldn't say it's any better. I mean, it's glass cleaner. I was just expecting it to uh, get rid of the streaks, which it did. Um, no more streaking. I'm touching the glass right now. I'm not seeing any handprints or fingerprints or anything like that. So um, not bad, just decent glass cleaner. It's safe for the tint, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about that. I think it's ammonia free, um, but uh, yeah, typical glass cleaner, nothing crazy. All right, so next product is going to be the Butter Wet Wax. Um, my car has some quick detailer on it, so it's got some polymers in here to kind of uh, repent water, but we'll see if it helps at all with it, and I'll kind of let you know if the shine's any better. Um, kind of hard to tell in the garage, but working with what we got. So pour a little water on here, sheets off, pretty normal. I'd say it probably does need some wax, but um, it is coming off the car. Okay, so I'm actually going to apply the wax with their microfiber towel that they applied and remove it with this towel. So um, fold it up a nice little square, get a nice little glob on here. I'm gonna test it out on that corner. So it might be a little much, but so just spread it out. Yeah, that was definitely much. Definitely a little much, wasting product there. And it smells like bananas, no shit. And we'll let it sit for a second. Like I said, I used way too much product, but um, oh well, this is just a test. So just go ahead and buff it off like you would. All right, and the finger test, nice and smooth. All right, and so just for the sake of the experiment, we're gonna pour some water on it, see if it does anything different. I would say definitely more beading up here. A lot more beading last time it just kind of sheeted off. So um, it's doing something, that's for sure. It's doing something, but uh, yeah, I dig it. Not bad, not a bad wax. All right, so the last thing we're gonna test is the dressing. Um, I'm not a big fan of using dressing for just everyday use. I only usually use it when I'm going to like a car show or if I'm doing like a photo shoot with the car. So. Um, not my gig, but I know a lot of people like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on the tires. They're a little wet, a little dry in some spots, and um, see how it looks. But I think you can use this on pretty much anything, like anything black vinyl. Um, but I'm just going to use it on my tires because that's what's in front of me. All right, so it's been a couple minutes with the silk shine on the tire, and I would say it looks pretty good, a little bit shinier than what I would have liked. Uh, I like a little bit more of like a matte finish on my tires, give it more of a darker look. There's still some areas where it's just a little shiny, and it, it could be because of the, uh, the excess water that was still on the tire, so, um, but all in all, decent little wheel, uh, decent little wheel dressing. All right, so that pretty much sums up the video, guys. All in all, I'm, Pretty damn impressed with what you get for the price um, in comparison to a lot of other box deals with detailing product. Um, is it the best stuff I've ever used? No. But is it great for the price and is it better than your run of the mill stuff that you get off the shelf at your local auto supply store? Yes. So um, 69 bucks. You get um, a variety of different things, and they have different purposes too. I mean, you can use the window cleaner inside, outside. You can use the dressing on pretty much anything black, um, the wax, anything painted. Um, and then, of course, the wheel cleaner was uh, pretty decent. Um, and then I just like that you get a bucket. I mean, a bucket, dude, is what? Maybe 
five bucks depending if you get like a nice bucket or a crappy bucket um, so the bucket's nice and the grit guard so um, all in all awesome deal even with the chamois and even with the, uh, the cloths the microfibers they're they're pretty decent for what you get so um, I'll definitely check out the deal. I'm going to post the link to that Costco um, page down in the description so you can find this, uh, find this package deal. I guarantee you'll be impressed. And what's cool is that um, the foam gun, not only can you use it on cars, you can use it on your bikes. Um, it'll get into all the little cracks and crevices and whatnot. So as long as you have some type of blower or something to get all the extra water and extra soap out, I think it's awesome. So. Um, I recommend it. I just want to share this with you guys. I know kind of a little bit of a different video. I might make some more detailed videos in the future with more specific um, like polishing and sealing and other things like that. But uh, I just enjoy detailing stuff. This is what I do to keep my car looking the way it does, uh, keep my bikes looking the way they do. And um, yeah, so if you guys dig the content, if you guys dig this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. This is all day, Anthony. Peace. Yeah.